right. So today we're looking at dot points 1.2 and 1.3 of lifestyle chemistry. So basically today we're going to mixtures and we're going to run through the different types. Starting with a homogeneous mixture. And so you should all know by now that a homogeneous mixture looks the same throughout. That's important. Um, and, but basically, that really only covers one type of mixture, and that is the solution. All right. So we're talking about that. That's a straightforward one you all know. About. The next one is heterogeneous. Okay. Now this means different throughout. We're not rocking your world yet. Um, this here is, yeah, that, that's the part that means different. And this part means the same. And we're good so far. Now, there are two types of heterogeneous mixtures that we, we, as a class, will be concerned with over the next few weeks. One will be the suspension. Okay, uh, this is yeah, stuff like muddy water, etc. And the other one will be colds. That's our most complicated. It, it doesn't get any harder than coal is though, so that's that's a good thing. I promise. All right. So solutions. First, we know that they are. Homogeneous. Homogeneous. Straightforward. Um, so it's two substances completely mixed. You have two parts. You have the solvent. Okay. And the solvent is particle being dissolved. Cool. And then you have the uh, put that backwards. Sorry, that's the solute. So that we'll get there. Then you have the solvent. This is the medium, okay? That the particles are dissolved into. Straightforward. Now, they cannot be separated by filtration. Often we'll use uh, evaporation, crystallization, same thing, different speeds. Now, if we're being brutally honest, a true solution consists of dissolved ions, or we'll say separated. Okay, and one way to look at that is you have your beaker. Okay, and in there you've got mixed, you can't see them, they're invisible, they might change the colour, in this case they won't. 
they're your ions, okay? So we go, this one can be Mg plus, and that one there is chlorine minus. So it's broken up into the water, okay? And that's your solution. All right, so we'll give you some examples. Okay. So you've got solids. Dissolved in liquid. Example that is seawater. Cool. Also, you can have a gas dissolved in liquid. Uh, so for example, you have oxygen gas into H2O. That is brutally important because, you know, that's how all the little fishies breathe. Without that, they're all dead. And, you know, we like our seafood, so let's not kill it. However, you can have a super solution, but such as one that has both gases and solids dissolved. Here, soft drink, particularly carbonated soft drink. That's solutions. Then we have suspension. Now, suspensions aren't nothing, aren't anything mysterious. For example, they are heterogeneous. Okay. Um, they are basically they're fine particles um, and they're, they're mixed through a liquid they hang in there so they're suspended that's where that comes from in a liquid medium there's that word again Alright, so, they're not broken down into ions, so if we mix, so it went earlier, I'll do it in red so you can see it's not the same thing, if we go magnesium chloride into water, it becomes Yeah, and if we go copper carbonate into water, it stays copper carbonate. It doesn't break down. And also, it stays solid, which is really important. Okay, so in this case, particles. are large enough, and this is important, to be visible. And that's to the naked eye, of course. Uh, it'll look like this. Let me get you from your beaker to start off with. And it's just sitting there. And it'll all it'll all look the same. You know, once you've shaken it up, you've mixed it through and all of the time, it'll all be blue. But if you leave it sit there for long enough, so it's because it's time, above the arrow, you will have, in this case, water. And then down here, you'll get a sediment. All right? And that one will be, if we go back to our example up above, copper carbonate. All right. So pretty... Pretty simple. Um, I better write. And then here we go. Suspension. Now these can be separated.
by filtration. Or obviously sedimentation. Cool. So we'll give you some examples of this to work with. Ones that make sense. So you can have a solid uh, suspended in liquid. This yeah, muddy water. Or you can have sorry, a liquid suspended in a liquid. my friends, is full cream milk. Mm. Tasty. Alright, colloids. Colloids. Alright, colloids. First, they may appear homogeneous but it's a lie okay they're, they're not homogeneous at all they're indeed heterogeneous and you'll see that when we start playing with some colloids soon. They look the same throughout, but they're actually not. So, particles are large-ish. They're small in suspensions, larger than your solutions. And they're between uh, one micrometer, that's 10 to the minus 6 meters or 1 nanometer which is 10 to the minus 9 meters. Because of this, you know, they're being still smaller than the sediments, suspension, sorry, they can't be separated. by filtration or sedimentation. Um, the way you separate this is with centrifugation. So basically you put them in a centrifuge, spin, spin them around and the heavier part will come to the bottom. So, if they look homogeneous, how can we tell them apart from a solution? And with that, we come to this. Tindal effect. So, if you shine light through it, because of their size, light will scatter. For this we can use a laser or a beam of light. So the light will scatter <coughs> due to size of the particles. Alright. Um, so basically this happened, again, sorry, we use that to tell them apart. The, solutions 
that doesn't happen. We have no scattering. All right, now, as these guys, your colloids, are the rock stars. There are so many different types. They are easily the most common solution we're going to deal with. Get back there. Now you've got the emulsions. Okay, these are liquid suspended in a liquid medium. That word medium is important. Okay, remember that. Know what that means. So you can have either oil in water, and this is you know, milk is so homogenized milk, or you can have water in oil, and this one is mayonnaise. The next one is really cool is foams. Foams are, I might do that in a different colour just in case they get too close. Foams are a gas in a liquid. Remember, a liquid is anything that flows and stays together, it doesn't float off on its own. So here you've got your cappuccino, which is the foam of evil, always, you just want black coffee, bring it to class, I will drink it for you. Or also shaving cream is another good fun that you'll all be familiar with. Now, finally you have a, a little finally or more, so you have a sole, which is a solid, suspended, in a liquid. This is paint. So when you're painting something, you're actually lathering a solid onto the wall. Finally, you'll have a an aerosol, which is a solid or liquid suspended gas. So a gaseous medium, and this is equal to stuff like, say, deodorants. This is your liquid in a gas, or you have uh, smoke, which is a solid in a gas. That's solids. And that's it. You're done.